Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the NAM show in Anaheim, California. Delighted to be joined by PK Pandey from Sym Symphonic Acoustics. How are you doing? Hey, very good, very good. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, it's a pleasure. So Symphonic Acoustics is a new name to me, but you're drawing on quite an established sort of design tradition in loudspeakers. That's correct. We are, uh, as you can see, our design and our sonic science is based on George Augsburger designs. Uh, George Augsburger is still alive and well and doing lots of designs uh, and helping us and we're collaborating together. And he's also creating new designs that we're manufacturing. So we are officially licensed by George Augsburger to reproduce these monitors. I see. So when I think of George Augsburger, I think of enormous horn-loaded main monitors in yes. classic studios. Is that yes. the kind of vibe you're going for? Yes, we're doing lots of projects with those monitors as well, but we're also manufacturing and designing smaller monitors, which we're doing, you can see right here. Okay, cool. So what, what, what sort of features are we looking at in these smaller monitors? Well, we have a smaller horn, we have a smaller footprint, uh, we have a portable format as well, so you can move them around. And we're now coming out with a new monitor, which is based for Atmos. Okay, yeah. right, interesting. Yeah, there's a new monitor right over here with a brand new horn designed by George called the Transconic Horn. So, so this is a 90 by 90 wave So, so t for those of us who haven't really had a lot of time spent listening to horn loaded monitors, so, so tell us a bit about the differences compared with other designs. The focus, the punchiness, uh, the sound pressure levels. So it's like that classic American thing of like yes. really loud, really in your face. Yeah, but you we just can, cannot that's correct. defeat them. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Based on you know, George worked for JBL for quite a few years as well. So James B. Lansing, there's a lot of history there. Uh, but we are able to tune them with modern DSP and modern amplification, so we can uh, get them to sound a, a lot nicer. Without the, you can still get the brute force if you want, but we're just. Uh, little more fine tuning available these days. So this is a, an active system with a separate amp pack or built-in yes, amp pack? Yes, separate, separate amp pack. Okay, and that, will, that does DSP calibration for Atmos as well? Yes, we have a few options with Dante inputs, um, many inputs and outputs for Atmos. Interesting, so what sort of price point are we looking at for these speakers? Uh, for these current ones here, they're in the low 30s, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we haven't decided on a price point for the new Atmos. All right. Yeah. Do you know when they're likely to be available? Uh, they're probably mid-year. Oh, something to look out for. Absolutely. Amazing. Thanks so much for your time, PK. Great to meet you. Thank you. Great to meet you.